Where's that treasure map? Arg, what's up everybody? It's Friday! And it's a pirate stacker coming at you. Man, I am having the best day ever. I feel like I'm a fortunate kind of guy. Let's get a shot of rum in. Uh, this is going to be for Ted Sharp. Man, that guy keeps throwing out super chats. Thank you, Ted. Appreciate it. This shot's for you, my friend. Mm. Be lucky you're not drinking it. All right. So today, I went out to the flea market in Daytona. I met up with my coin guy, the coin guy, Richard. Awesome, awesome dude. So this guy, I've been buying Steady 4 for the last few months. Now I don't buy a ton of stuff ever. You, you probably watch my videos, you see I don't get tons of loot. But I love buying Constitutional from him. I love seeing all the collectible stuff he's got. And he's out at Daytona Beach Flea Market, Friday, Saturday, Sundays. And he does the Volusia County Fairgrounds on Wednesdays. He has a table inside. Look, the, the cost of silver is up, which means Pirate Stacker is collecting other things. I don't got a lot of money to throw around. We're in the process trying to get a new home, all of that stuff. So I went out, we visited him, we got some other swag. Before I get into that, we are doing the raffle today. If you bought a raffle ticket, Pirate Stacker, number 13 channel bar is coming your way. So we do have a winner for that. That'll be at the end of the show. I'll get that in the mail tomorrow. Super exciting. So back to my story. Uh, we went out to the Daytona Beach uh, flea market. It's awesome. Coin Guy Richard's got a shop set up out there. Now I'm just going to buzz through this because you know I don't like making really long videos. Uh, we did manage to pick up a very cool George Washington half. This is a 90 percent proof coin and that's my ten dollar pickup going into my box which is full of loot that's my ten dollar pickup for the week and I think this is what like week 26 27 something like that the box is looking good now look he hooked me up why did he hook me up because I have a relationship with him and I'm telling you guys if you have local coin shops build the relationships it honestly you may spend a little bit more here, but you're going to save a little bit there. And if you're their regular guy, they're going to look for you. They're going to remember that you come out week after week when you make purchases. Even if they're small, they're going to remember you. And these are good people. They're trying to build relationships too. So, me being on a budget, I managed to score my weekly $10 challenge piece. Love it. And look at all this currency. Oh, man. He had the coolest stuff out there. Look at the colors, the shapes. Now, most of these were $1 notes. And he even hooked me up because he's awesome. Look at how awesome these are. Now, I'm not going to put them in the book today. I'm going to run through them real fast. I don't know what they are. I'm going to have to look them up. Some of them have tips, tips on them. Guaranteed by the central government of I don't know who. Looks like Gandhi on there. He's a good dude. Japanese government. Five ten centavos. Military monies. And look at these. Look at how cool. Now these are tiny. And they don't even look like real money. It's awesome. It's awesome because it's so different from what I'm used to. Uh, this, this one I spent the most on. This was a... Iraqi dinar, but this was the Saddam Hussein years. Now let me tell you a quick tip here. Back when he was in power, once upon a time, the Iraqi dinar, you see how I had one that was like a what, a 25,000 note? That's the new one. The old one, the Iraqi dinar was worth like 364 or something like that US. So this $5 dinar note would have at one time been worth like 18 bucks. Awesome. And they're just cool, you know. They're just such pretty looking money. And I really can't wait to get these in the book. This is a $10 note with the Gandhi. Oh man, it's so cool. 
I was so stoked when I went out there because I knew he had stuff. I didn't realize he had this much awesome stuff, which I'm just stoked about. And we'll do another video. Look at that, 100 Quacha for the Bank of Zambia. Man, literally, it feels like I hit the jackpot. All right, Republic of Venezuela, Bolivars. Now this I've heard of, Dos Bolivars. This stuff's worth nothing in Venezuela due to the hyperinflation. Literally, you can't get anything with 20 bolivars down there. But look how pretty the money is. Man, it seriously is so cool. And this is the stuff, you know what? They're gonna have a reset. They're gonna do all those things. But guess what? This money will cease to exist down there. However that reset turns out, these bills are gonna cease to exist. Many of them already do. Now, they're around, you can collect them, but they're getting destroyed. The stuff that's nice and in collections, that stuff's getting put away, going away. You're not gonna see it. And uh, the money's so cool. Again, I, I nip on, so this would be Japanese money. Yen, I would assume, 10 yen. The really cool thing is, a thousand Yen. Wow. It's it's neat. The thing that's cool is this is history. This stuff isn't coming back around 20 francs of France. It's not coming back around. Once it's gone, it's gone. So I think it's neat. I want to have my piece of the pie. I enjoy collecting it now. It's become my fun little side project. I don't got 40 bucks to go buy an American Silver Eagle. Uh, I'm gonna spend 10 bucks, 15 bucks on some currency I come across. That's a fun collectible for me. And to me, it almost feels like it's in the same vein. Now I'm on Facebook groups, people are buying and selling currency like crazy. So there is a market, a secondary market too. So we're gonna jump over. I'm gonna show you my time out at the flea market with the coin guy, Richard, and uh, and after that, we're gonna go straight into our wheel and see who won, who won our number 13 channel bar. Thanks for watching, stick around, let's see what happened at the flea market. Pirate out. What's up everybody, it's a pirate stacker coming at you and I am with the coin guy. The Daytona actual Beach. coin guy, Daytona Beach <laughs> Flea Market today. And we're going to ask him some questions, the stuff everybody wants to know, what's going on, the squeeze, how come prices are going up, but the spot's not. Let's let's hit the guy up. He's been in the business for years. Let's do it. Here we go. All right, so this is the coin guy here. Go ahead. Yes, Tell I'm me Rich, about you. I'm, my name is Rich Jarvis. I've been out here at the Daytona Beach Flea Market for about seven years. And I'm um, talking about the silver market and not really doing much as far as when you see it uh, come across CNBC or on TV. But uh, get, be, getting the hard metal, acquiring the hard metal is, is the hard part and that's why the premiums are so high. Um, some of my high uh, number one sellers are these Morgans. Morgan dollars. These have a date on them, and awesome. Depending about on condition, they're ninety percent pure. They're large pieces. They sell real well at about thirty bucks each. And then, of course, uh, the the American Eagle. Um, I sell out them. These uh, Eagles are averaging around forty bucks each, with the twenty ones around forty three to forty five dollars each. And it's just a very strong premium to get it. Get the hard metal. There, so it's very hard to uh, acquire it. Now I have a question for you here because we've noticed the big sellers, Atmex, JM Bullion, they're all saying, I mean literally they're out of stock on a bunch of stuff, but they're two weeks out on shipping. Now I look at you here and you got all this silver, plus you got other cases. So how come you still have so much stuff? Are you buying regular? Some people are bringing me, I buy estates, they bring me coins, coin collections right here. Um, so I'm very busy on the weekend, but a lot of people want to be able to uh, come to somebody they trust to give them a value and give them a little bit more of a premium also than just paying spot. 
So uh, people are selling because yes. the value has had gone a guy up. A couple weeks ago, sell so, because he just, him and his wife feel it's going to go up, but they just needed to buy a car. Ready to get out. Yep, and they're going to. They took my card, and he's, he says if I start buying again, I'm definitely coming back here. So. It was really cool. Yeah. I, I won't eat up a lot of your time, but real quick, do you see this continuing to go up? Is oh, this yeah. a supply and demand? I mean, oh. obviously the supply is running out. Yep. The demand is greater than ever, I assume? Uh, oh, definitely, and I have somebody coming right now. I have 120 Eagles here. I got somebody coming up Ooh. about a half hour buying them all. And, That's and awesome. They, the, the buy it all premiums are lower because they're buying more. I'm selling them for $38 each across the board. Because he's buying so many. Thirty-eight. So you're getting a ten dollar premium on the oh, Eagles. Yep. Hey, thank you so much for you're your time. Welcome. You guys, thank this you. is at the Daytona Flea Market. Friday, Sat Thursday, Friday, Saturday. First Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. He's also at the Volusia County Fairgrounds on Wednesday. Yes. Awesome. Thank you for your time. We will see you again soon. <laughs> All right, here we go. We've got the wheel. We are giving away raffling the number thirteen channel bar of course it was 99 cents to get into the raffle it's my pirate stacker bar made by grim metals number 13 and it is my last and that's what's coming at you so let's get a winner first things first we're going to show you guys we had 64 entries and you can see the wheel going you see the names multiples of multiples thank you everybody for jumping in on this I really truly wish the best of luck to all of you I am gonna shuffle these up because we don't need y'all close to each other and to keep this kind of fair we are going to roll the dice so it will not be the first it'll be whatever the dice says spin number four spin number four is gonna be the winner of the number 13 channel bar here is spin number one this is not the winner spin number four will be the winner of the number 13 channel bar Woo, that's a mouthful double o buck six seven one we're not removing you we are just moving on no win for you today this is spin number two, not a winner. Not a winner. Sorry to do that to you, it sucks, but Jason M, you do not win. Closing it, moving on. Spin number three, you are not a winner. You are not a winner of the channel bar. Who do we got? Anthony Sanchez, not a winner, but you do got fireworks. This is it. Spin number four. You are the winner. You are the winner of the number 13 channel bar. Who's getting it? Who's getting it? Who's getting it? Cherie Ward, the number 13 channel bar. Congratulations. Cherie Ward has actually put in on every channel bar raffle I've ever done since the very beginning. She won the Pirate Stacker channel bar or channel round, the silver. And now you have got the number 13 channel bar coming to you, Sheree Ward. I have your address. It'll be in the mail tomorrow. Congratulations. Hey, everybody. Thank you for watching. I hope you had a great time today. I hope you enjoyed the show. I know I sure did. And uh, we will come again at you tomorrow. More stuff, more fun. Pirate Stacker out. <laughs>